Well, the 200th race got underway with an Aston Martin on pole position in the hands of Johnny Adam. He would lead from Al uh, Giacomo Alto in the Lamborghini. It was very close around the outside there. We saw uh, uh, Enrique Chavez going into second place and dropping to fourth place at the start there was uh, Alto. This was the number 17. Terra Martin motorsport car battling away. There was battles up and down the order as everyone was fighting for the win in the 200th race. Then the pit stops began with 36 minutes remaining. Everyone came in. Of course, we had those handicaps to do as well, which really mixed things up. But it was a real close battle uh, up ahead. We had uh, the number 14 there uh, making moves. Mikel Grenier, that was. Unfortunately, they would grind to a halt later in the race. They did make a lot of positions. Further back, we had the likes of uh, uh, Albert Costa charging through, having taken over from Giacomo Alto. This was when Kodrich, which we think was allowed by, by his uh, teammate there to go through. This was uh, Pierre Berg, who was in third. Tom Onslo Cole starting that race. This is when they, he starts to fall down the order, losing positions to both Emil Frey uh, racing cars there, who would then fight for third place. But unfortunately, Grenier would slow down coming out of turn three. Costa would help himself to third, but he'd have to hold on defending from Kodrich. But then, then came Fabrizio Crestani out of nowhere, went from fifth to third on the final lap, but out front, an Aston Martin won the 100th race, and an Aston Martin wins the 200th race. It's Ollie Wilkinson's first ever win in the International GT Open, their first of the season, and a first for Johnny Adam as well, who joined the team for this round.